हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू बीपीओ इंटरव्यू ट्यूटोरियल गाइस सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ टू डिजाइन अ डेट वाइज परफॉर्मेंस ग्राफ सो वेर इन आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई डेट वाइज एरर्स डेट वाइज डिफेक्ट डेट वाइज फेयर ऑडिट परसेंटेज एंड डेट वाइज एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर टीम लीड परफॉर्मेंस सो गाइज दिस इज वेरी इजी टू डिजाइन सो before moving to the video again i would like to tell you guys please uh, do like share and subscribe my channel if you have not done that and please click on bell icon so that you can get, uh, you guys will get the notification on the same and uh, please uh, also check out my facebook and instagram page wherein uh, uh, i will be posting the vacancies related information and all so guys uh, moving to the <clears throat> our particular topic so i will just explain you about this data the data is nothing but uh, it is just a quality audit form guys wherein i just pulled up into my raw dump so employee names will be there the date the case id is or else you can tell as a caller id if you are looking for the calling process there are basic parameters will be there in the calling like apology call opening empathy assurance and all in the last i have mentioned the defects and i just want pass and fail comment like what errors done was done by the associate so every companies have their different uh, format to design their form but this is just a basic with the help of this you can easily uh, like pulled out the graph and it's very easy guys so let's check uh, for the vj uh, so for the vj i did this audit and uh, i got three errors like call opening was not good empathy was missing and uh, this associate need to transfer that particular call but he did not done so there are three errors which i have been identified so here these errors are known as defects so guys in this way we can uh, check out like how how defect has been calculated so if you want to uh, generate the defect for all the cells what you can do you just use countif formula if you use countif formula just select the uh, cell from d to k and comma double quotes and just keep x there x is nothing but just an identifier guys like where in the markdown was done so there are total three defect the carefully is correct and i will just copy paste to the entire row in this way the defect has been calculated guys now how i will calculate the pass and fail my prime target here is to identify the fail count like how many fail audits were uh, actually done fail count fail count means if there are three defects one defect or else 100 defects that doesn't matter guys if there is a single defect also the audit is actually considered as a fail audit if there are zero defect at that time only it will consider as a pass audit but here i just want pass need to be kept as zero and fail need to be kept as one because uh, i want to calculate the sum of total fail fail audit guys so i will use if formula here after using if select the defect column if defect is equal to zero then select there as zero or else one obviously it will select one here because there are three defects here if it is one or three defect automatically will give you the count so in this way we can uh, calculate the uh, defect uh, this fail and pass count so here you can see total we have 27 uh, thus 27 defects and uh, how many audits were failed total 18 audits were failed and how many audits we have done we have done 42 audits so it's quite easy to understand guys that uh, I did 41. Uh, I did 42 audits out of those 18 are failed, and I receive a uh, total 27 defects here. Now I just want to uh, like um, design a graph of this particular data. What I will do? I will just uh, create a pivot table. I will select the entire data. Control A. I will go to Insert, and uh, after moving to the Insert, I will go to Create Pivot Table and click on OK. So you guys can see the pivot table has been generated. and from the pivot table in the left hand side i need to select date correct yes the date has been selected and uh, i just want the defect count yes here it is i will click on value yes i will i'll get the defect moreover you also keep the same defect column in the filter also to cross check either the zero was selected there or not fine so i have just removed this and i got the defect count over here what i will do i will just copy paste uh, this data just near to this I have just copy pasted. Convert the name of uh, the raw table into date, and this is my uh, defect. I want the audit count also. So what I will do? I'll just paste it to the next, and first I will keep there as audit count. How many audit I did? Uh, date wise, how many audit was done for that particular team? 
so i want to calculate the audit count what i will do uh, i will just remove the defect column here i will remove the filter also i will just select the case ids guys if i will select the case ids and i just want uh, some here so it's calculating some actually i just want count here guys done so total 40 uh, 6 audit per day has been done guys so if you can see in the raw dump also uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 audits were done for second also we did 6 audits yes 6 audits were done for the second also so it's up to you guys how many audits you are doing and what target was aligned to you it totally depend on you guys so what i will do i will just uh, copy paste uh, this here because i don't want pass and fail i just want uh, uh, the count of the audits so this is these are the count of the audit uh, sorry i just pasted it wrong uh, what i need to do here is i need to paste this uh, entire data here so this is my total audits defect we have calculated i want to calculate here now fail audit percentage and the last i want to calculate accuracy percentage so these two things are mandated to cross check how the team is trending and how the performance uh, is there for that particular team and uh, you can calculate it for the entire process you can calculate it for the team also it's very easy uh, so what i will do i just want the pass and fail count now i will remove this i will go to last i have pass and fail count i will keep this pass into the filter also and i just only want fail count yes total 18 were 18 audits for fail guys i will just paste it here so just check it guys check the video clearly why i'm pasting here because i want to calculate fair audit percentage from this particular data uh, if you want to know what is the formula of fair audit percentage you can uh, cross check my old video guys the past video in my playlist so what i will do i want to calculate fair audit percentage equal to one minus so for that particular day four audits were failed with comparison to all the id all the audits what i have done so i will get the fair audit percentage and if i will do calculate it into the percentage it's very easy to calculate how we can go go to home and click on percentage so which means for that particular day my fair audit it's not failed guys fair audit and with the uh, just copy paste the entire data to all the uh, all the cells and uh, fair audit will be calculated with the help of failed audit guys the audit which are failed with the help of that we can calculate the fair audit percentage so you can guys easily check i did six audit out of those four audits were failed which means 33 percent is my passing percentage on that day so same has been calculated here uh, for 6th october i did six audit out of those one audit is failed which means 80, 83 percentage is my pass percentage or else fair fair audit percentage now i need to calculate accuracy guys the accuracy formula is very easy guys uh, it totally depend on number of parameters and everything so before that i will cross check how many parameters are there in my process one two three four five six seven eight there are total eight parameters some companies have 13 some may companies have 20 parameters also it totally depend on you guys so here we have 13 parameters so what is the formula equal to one minus first i need to pick uh, the defect count i need to divide again i need to keep one column I need to paste how many audits I did multiply with the total parameters I have 13 parameters guys closing the bracket and closing bracket enter again convert it into the percentage just copy paste this to the all the rows correct and what I will do moreover I will just uh, make it some percentage wala sign and uh, we'll just get some data in points also so in this way i got all the data we don't require this last row the total calculation i don't require so i will remove this i just want the date wise data here so this is very easy guys you can easily understand the things how i calculated the fair audit and uh, accuracy again i'm telling you guys accuracy is very easy uh, equal to one minus how many defects are there six defect divided it divide by uh, total audit into number of parameters the number of parameters are 13 which i have shown you guys recently so just what i will do so i will explain you all this topic in my uh, in two videos guys so it will be easy for you so in the next video we will cover uh, uh, how to design the graph of this particular fair audit percentage guys okay so we have prepared the data uh, now i need to design the graph in the next video i will show you how you guys can design the graph that's all guys 
uh, so we'll move to the next video uh, to design a particular graph for the date wise and uh, before that guys uh, we have just in the first uh, we have just explained you i've just explained you in my first part that to calculate fair or date percentage and accuracy it's very easy still you guys are getting confused please do watch my uh, first video again so that you will get the clear uh, idea so what i will do i will select uh, my this particular data okay so i'll go to insert and uh, recommended chart if you go to recommended chart okay now just click on uh, the first one click on the first one and okay yes so this chart is good with the help of this we can identify uh, the v uh, the date wise performance report so what i will change the title here uh, date wise uh, performance performance report you can mention the team leader name also it's up to you date wise performance report and you can mention the team leader name go to this uh, style select the last one it look good guys so you can select the last one and now what you need to do uh, you need to click on plus and select data label because i need to show all the data here so click on data label and uh, what you need to do click on this for bar graph anywhere you can click click on change data series in data series just select the fair and fair audit percentage because we want these two details in a uh, line so for the accuracy i will select this particular column for fair audit i will select this particular column here so i'll just click on this now it's showing not that good so i will rearrange it click on uh, double click on the percentage and minimum should be 0.0, .0 and maximum will be 1.0 click okay yes automatically it will get converted so you can see from 0 10 20 30 percent it will go to 100 percent okay i will just increase the width and what else we can do you can again click here change the data series i'll just cross check either we have marked it correctly or not yes this was correctly correctly marked yes guys now this is this is pretty much clear so in this way we can easily identify uh, what's our what's our data here is so, uh, give me one minute let me let me cross check with the line here okay fine and i will place this data series here okay yes yes this is correct guys so in this way you can design your date wise performance report guys so this is pretty much easy to understand by your team leader manager so what i am doing here guys see blue color bar is showing my audit count orange color bar is showing my defect count fair audit percentage is in the gray color and accuracy is in my yellow color so if my manager is checking my report and if you want to understand for the 4th october so we did total six audits out of those there are three audits are failed guys okay three audits are failed so here which means my fair audit percentage will be 50 yes this has been correctly calculated guys you can just move it up yes my fair audit percentage is 50 and if i want to calculate my accuracy the accuracy is 96.15 percentage so I believe like this will help you to create your performance report guys and it is easy to understand and uh, this is pretty much easy and clear guys again I just want to add one more point just click on double click on date and always select text text access guys the reason behind that is if there is a week off on third or maybe you have not done any audit it will show you blank over here but now we have entered the data correctly so it's not showing so to remove that week offs and all you just click on text access which means wherever the text is available wherever the text is available wherever the count is available they will show that particular row only so in this way you can uh, design the date wise performance report for the team lead it's very easy easy to understand and this will increase your uh, uh, way of doing the work 
and it will help you to design the performance report as well so i believe this is very easy and uh, you guys can calculate the fair audit percentage accuracy and everything and this report will get generated so that's all from my side guys and i believe uh, you have learned many things today and uh, it will help you guys also to design and to create to maintain your work over here guys okay fine that's all guys thanks a lot for watching and please do share subscribe my channel please like my video share it with your friends who are uh, working as a quality analyst or as team lead or as trainer so that they will get that information very easily uh,